fuck, I'm not eating no fucking in and out. I'm not eating no in and out, bro. I'm not eating no fucking in and out. Activated. Let's get it. <sighs> All right, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Dual Clay, aka Thomas the Thick Engine, aka your mother's baby daddy, also known as Full Halfway Dude. Now, today, what we're going to do is talk about uh, making chrome text and also making dope cover art today. Crazy cover art, super dope cover art, cover art, cover art, uh, whatever clickbait. Uh, title I put in the cover, we'll see. Um, but we're also going to talk about my kit. That they about. We're also going to talk about my kit. We're going to talk about my kit. We're going to talk about my kit. And we're also going to talk about my kit that I'm dropping today as well, which is the Chrome GFX kit, which is going to come with a whole bunch of new stuff um, and um, some dope stuff. You feel me? It's going to have textures. It's going to have PNGs. Uh, it's going to have nudes. Uh, it's going to have Walmart gift cards. Um, it's gonna have um, nudes, uh, Applebee, uh, vegan food, all the stuff for you guys who eat dirt and grass. Uh, but we're gonna go through this kit, and what you see right now is the cover for the kit, which is Chrome. Usually, I don't go through the covers of my kits, but I think um, the effort that I put into this would be like pretty dope for the breakdown. Show you guys how I made this. Uh, what we're gonna do first is just go through the kit, just so you can guys have a breakdown, and see exactly what we're working with. So right now we have the kit up in front of us. Right now, now once again, the name of the kit is called Chrome. It's a GFX kit, which is gonna include the things you see here, which is gonna be eight. I can't read. Why y'all didn't tell me I can't read? It's gonna include five fonts, seven PNGs, eight textures, eight essence, essence, As Asani. Aha, city school education. Aha, uh, 15 stickers and also three templates. So let's go through this stuff here. Uh, the first thing we got here is the essence, which is just little things you can add to your uh, to your project or to your graphic just to spice it up a little bit. Do y'all see the light from the fire on me? Yo? Come on, comment below if you think I'm cute. You can comment below right now. Look, comment below. Comment, comment below right now. All right, so it comes with fire. Also included some lightning, some more lightning. Also some sparkles, some sparkles, and some sparkles. Big C's, you feel what I'm saying? Now I do understand in Photoshop that is a pen or a marker that you can use or a brush that you can use that will give you that capabilities that allow you to go ahead and use like uh, the sparkles or to use that. But I want to make sure my kit isn't just for people who use Photoshop. It's for anybody who's working on any type of graphics, really. Uh, last summer, I was using PixArt, which is a really type graphic design starter app if you're using that on your phone. Uh, I had folders and everything in the folders as well that helped me break down how I made my graphics. A lot of my graphics that I first started when I was working with TreeSound was on Photoshop. I never, well, sorry, was on PixArt. I never had Photoshop. Recently, just got Photoshop, to be honest. Don't tell nobody. So the second thing is the fonts. Now, the fonts you can see here, now, this is also the fonts that I have in here. Um, you'll be able to have a breakdown of them. Um, the fonts that I included are 100% free, and I just felt as though they look really, really fire in like the chrome slash metal effect that I use in this kit a lot. The next thing is the PNGs. Now, the PNGs, standard in every one of my pack. I usually grab some that I thought would be really tight that look tight in like a collage area. So I got the blood circle, I got the chrome skull, I got the ghoul, I got the grimace, I got the hobbits, and the Koopas. almost died and the stickers i snapped no cap you feel me real bad you feel me mines don't talk no swing try to get back like tiptoe team <laughs> So I call this the China One because it's like a sticker uh, that remind me of the Chinese food around the corner from my house. They got an A1 chicken boxes. Barcode, made that. Barcode, cool. 
metal, you feel me? Made it a metal felt. This is a glass square. A lot of people ask me about this. I made you a tutorial of how to make like your own shapes like this. I thought this was really dope to include in the pack. The original, if you fancy L. A sample library. I mean, it's be really, really tight. I can't wait to make another sample library for somebody and then add this. Somebody asked me for this as well. The deluxe sticker. Now, with the deluxe sticker, um, like I said, somebody asked me about it, and I asked this on my Instagram when I was asking what else should I add to the kit. So if you follow me on Instagram at Dude Clay, and I, I'm about to drop another kit, uh, just comment uh, what you think would be interested in the kit, and I'll make it for you. Another original sticker. Uh, this is the glass sticker. I use this in some of my recent kits, mostly the ones that I've recently done with Palace. Um, that's my guy. Shout out to Palace. I love you, man. I love you, Palace. I love you, You're my guy. RCA with the glass behind it as well. I think that'd be really, really tight on like a drum kit. Also, ooh, ooh, that boy cute. Hold on, hold on. Damn, if your ass stop playing with me. I probably book your mother. This is the smiley face, aka Napoleon Dynamite. Uh, restricted sticker and then a metal restricted sticker with the glass behind it I made sure that I bent it this way because it looks really really tight when you turn it sideways um, Definitely try that out if you guys purchase a kit <laughs> If you mean when you purchase the kit buy from me don't don't play with me yo I know where you live at cuz and then I got templates in here as well first template I got in here is the back panel now, I included the back panel template just in case you guys want to go play around with it. Want to see how I resize things or how I got things all together in the kit. Then I also have the kit that we're going to be going over today, which is the Chrome GFX kit. So everything that you see in there will be labeled and drop down. So you'll see exactly how I made that or how it was done. I also have like a kit cover layout, which is how I usually do my kits. Recently, how I've done palace kits as well with the barcode and the background texture. I thought that'd be really dope to include. A lot of people ask me, how do you structure how do you get like the structure of your kits you can always lay like a picture in the background of that or you can do like a collage style either way all right do it how you want to remember i always say it's about how you want it and then i also included this psd as well which for each one is edited differently you see how this one has the the, the cut out in the inside this one has the cut up on the outside this one is i don't know they just look fire in the chrome don't they don't they look come on look Look. Two thousand years later. And then the final thing of the kit is the textures. Now textures, really fire. I call this one Earth Gang. I call this one the Booga Luga. Uh, I call this one Deaf because it makes me think that I'm a dinosaur. I call this one uh, Fire Rising. This one called Dirty Dog Dirty. This was called Base 2. Uh, this one's called I Miss You, Please Come Home. I didn't mean to cheat on you. Uh, and this one is called The Dusty Sky because, like, if you disrespect me, I'm going to kick dust in your eye. Ain't no surprise. Pull up with that gat with my guys and we spray as we spry. I took a lot of Adderall today. All right, and that's pretty much the kit, to be honest. Like I said, it's gonna be on treesound.com to purchase. Everything that you see here will be included in the kit as well. I'm also gonna be running some specials kit sale today as well. I'm not sure what it is, but when I drop this video, I'm sure I'm gonna put it in the comments for y'all. Now let's go ahead and jump straight into working on this graphic so we can go through everything. So what we have here right now is the kit that we're gonna be working on, or the cover we're gonna be working on. Y'all gotta relax, cause I... <laughs> I got everything labeled here. So when you open it up on your end, it says stickers, textures, sparkles, text, black, snakes. All right, so let's go ahead and start it up. We're going to open a new one. So we're going to do create new and then 40 times 40 times 40 with two other zeros behind it. Two. Now, off top, no cap, no bat, real talk. I'm going to go ahead and make this white because it's something I'm going to add to this that's going to look tight. Now, I do have a like a little template that I'm gonna use. Are you serious? I put my money in serious. Okay, all my checks, I just get burning. She saw my dick, she get delirious. Okay, jump on the jet so I'm clearing it. Okay, but I'm not. Got distracted. I thought I saw something handsome. So let's go ahead and do this. So you see right here, this button. See the button where I'm at? Look, look at it. Look, look where the button at. It's gonna add a new layer. No bat, real talk, we're going to go ahead and make that layer red because that's how I'm feeling right now. And because I like making y'all do unnecessary steps. You want to double click on that for me. I want you to go over to stroke, right? 
I want you to go ahead and make that stroke black. I pull that stroke back because it's too much stroke. It's too much stroke. You feel me? Aha! Aha! <laughs> uh, kids are watching this. Chill out, yo. Chill out. So we're going to add another one. Mine's going to add twice on top dot. All right. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to get it black again, right? Fill that in. Oops. I did it red. That's all good. Jesus still loves us. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Fill that black. You feel me? Click here. What I want you to do, pull mine's back here like swing, big old top, no chin. You feel me? Now we got the thing. But what's going on? We got all that red in there. What we going to do? Click on the red area. And I want you to go over here where it says opacity. I want you to click on the one underneath that says fill. And unfill that motherfucker. You feel me, yo? You feel me, cutty? I think I'm going to go ahead and add the little chrome snake that you saw before that's over here. So let's go ahead and grab this. Now make sure I grab in the right pitch and drop it. Oh! Sorry about that. I didn't. Let me go ahead and delete that. Dang, I was so sexy. Let me go ahead, drop this down in him. You feel me? You feel me? Let's pull this over some right there. Pull this snake right there. Make sure that we don't have completely in there. Looking good so far. But we want to drop it down one layer. You feel me? Because I wanted to be underneath of the black. You double feeling me? We're going to duplicate this layer. Bring that like that. Now, what I want you to do is bring the second layer. You see how the snake at the end? I want you to bring the end of the snake tail right there so it blends in pretty good. Now, the thing is, it looks good, but we have that, that corner right there that makes it look really weird right here. We're going to go over here to the brush tool. And how I want you to do it, bring that hardness down a little bit because you're going a little too hard. You got to relax. And I want you to bring the size up here. It's going to click on that and it's going to ask you, do you want to make this a smart object? Because I don't know, I was lost. All right, so we're going to just clear this out. Clear this hole. You see how it's exposing that snake? Yeah, expose that snake. But not too much now. Not too much because we want to still make sure we keep it looking real nice. We want a nice amount of that shadow. You got to turn your head like this when you do it because it proves that something's wrong with you that looks good to me that look good to y'all thumbs up if that look good thumbs up if that look good you feel me i'm gonna be asking for thumbs up a lot in this video because i feel as though i'm entitled to it so far we got the snake picture in it and when i got that snake picture from pinterest um it's free we about to get into this chrome you feel me when you click on text i want you to go up here you want to bring this down to at least 10 you feel me that's too big you want to go ahead and type in whatever you want, but for this instance, we're going to type in Chrome. Hit the OK. Change this Chrome color to white. Now, what we want to do is click on this, and we want to rotate this. Counterclockwise. Let's beef this boy up. Beef it up, boy. Grandma got ran over by a reindeer. I wasn't singing the song. That's what happened to me yesterday. Everybody comment, get better soon, Clay Grandma. Comment, comment down there, bro. You know, my grandma could really need for you to buy this kid as well. If you, in the eyes of an angel, for just a kit sale, you can save my grandmother. So Chrome, right? So we're gonna go ahead and double click in the Chrome, right? I'm a cheat! Now listen, I have a style already made for this. Watch this, look at it. Mm. You should let me love you, let me. So, so far you can see that the fonts already have the metal features that we're really looking for so far. So what we're gonna jump into is bezel involved. So what we're gonna do is start pulling back some of the size here. Pull back some of the size here. Turn out some of that def. So it's gonna be inner bezel, you feel me? You see how it look? I need to make this 120. Why I need to be 120? Cause I said so. Fight me if you if you disagree, cuz like on mothers, I ain't never been scared of nobody and I never will be. You feel me? Please don't find me and beat me up. I'm so sorry. Now the size, if you pay attention and you look at the font, you can see that the size, look at the M real quick. Watch what I do this. It closes that gap up. Basically, it brings it in. I like a little bit of that, a little bit of that, 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 that in there, cause it, it just makes it look like more realistic. Don't touch that soft. We ain't soft out here in these streets, cause we ain't soft out in these streets, cause if you soft, 
subscribe because some of us soft and I like Drake too. For gloss contour, you see the M, use that. That's going to make it all gravy. The glow, you can play with that. You can bring the glow down as much as you want to. That's the inner glow. So the inner glow is really just like the shadow that bounces back onto the text. Now where I get that purple from, sampling in here. If you click on this in here and you click on the purple, I basically sampled the purple from in here. And then we also got the granite overlay, which I have normal. And then you can follow these same process that I have here. Got the opacity at 100%. And then we go down to outer glow. Now we'll pull back on his outer glow just a little bit for the opacity. Look at all those settings. Like I said, I included the PSD already in the pack. So you have it. It's yours. It belongs to you. So what we're going to do is take that chrome and we're going to duplicate that. Will you see how I just bossed up on it? Double click that. Now what I want to do is put a hard metal in a different color like stroke around it for real, right? First we'll come down here to outer glow and I'm gonna sample another color. I think I wanna sample like this red. Yeah, that looks tight. First go to bezel and bulb, right? What I want you to do is click on stroke and it's gonna make the font look a little weird. And you're gonna turn the stroke into outside. We're gonna fill this with another color sample over here, sample something like that. I like that, I like that a lot actually. And I'm actually gonna do gradient too. All right, so I'm gonna pick one of the random gradients in there as well. Just to bring that all together. I like the way that looks, but it looks a little weird. I can fix that, boy. We're going to drop it down by one. Look at... Let's start with the sparkles. Now, remember, the sparkles are directly inside of my pack. Now, I'm going to go ahead and grab this one because I think the blue highlight's pretty tight. And I also want you guys to play with the opacity and also the sizes, too. You feel me? Something there. Go ahead and duplicate later until we get like a consistent style that we want or it's like blending really really good and we really like what we're seeing here a gfx kit bye all right y'all ready this is the sauce here you ready one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen seventeen dude clay if you ain't putting seventeen spaces in your artworks bro are you really a graphic designer? And then we're gonna rotate this counterclockwise. You know the vibes? Now, we're gonna go in this area. This is called the spacer space. You feel me? That's the real name. Don't act, don't don't Google it. That's the real name for it, like in real life. Like, you don't need to Google it. Don't contact Photoshop and ask them is that the real name. I'm telling you right now, that's the real name. Then we're gonna go over here, I like to flatten my letters a little bit. Since I go hard, that's actual spaces, cuz what they gonna what they gonna do, huh? Lock me up. Right, so that's looking pretty tight so far. So we're gonna go ahead and double click, double click, clicking that. Right, we want to change this into inner bezel. All right, so so far we're where we at right now. You see how we got the little snake in the background. Um, we got the font chrome nice and shiny. Drink water, y'all. It's good for you. The next thing I usually do here is start working on the st 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 stickers. Everything's already in the PSD and then also back to the finder so I can start using these textures. And this is the first texture that I use, which like I said, this one was called the Omega Red Halfway Dungeon Master. So we want to go ahead and click on that. We want to drop this and I want to use screen. Yeah, I want to use screen, but I wanted to bring the opacity down on this one. Bring this opacity down just a little bit here. I said a little bit and dropped it to less than half. Uh, now the other texture, and remember, both of these are included in my kits that you can get on treesound.com. Treesound.com. All right, and then you're going to go ahead, and we're going to go down. You're going to put that on lighten. You see? You see? Y'all see that? That's 135%. Heat, that's called bars. All right. So, so far, everything's looking pretty good. We got the texture, we got the stickers, we got the fonts, we got the sprinkles. What I usually do now, I'm gonna go ahead and take everything by hitting Command, and then click, and then click, and then click. Keep scrolling, kids, and then click, and then click. Come on, 
come on keep scrolling kids and then i want you to go over here to layers and i want you to hit group layers you feel me everything's in the group now you feel me everything's already bundled all up together what I want you to do is duplicate this because we want to always make sure we have a duplicate copy. So when we do things on our primary copy, it's not affected, right? On the copy, I want you to go ahead and turn this off. And I want you to hit the copy. I want you to left click. I want you to right click on this, right? And I want you to go to convert to smart object. Think. Think. Boom, renders as a smart object. Now you can just edit this without having to edit all the other graphics or rendering out as a PNG. Why am I doing this? So once you click on the copy, right? And once you go over here to filters, go to noise, add some Nizai noise on that. Now I like 7.3. Why I like 7.3? Because it's because I like it. Look at it. Come on now, dog. Look at this. Look at this. This is why Obama ran for office. I like the way it looked. It's fresh. You want to do more? Let's do more. I'll do what you want. If you buy my kit. Y'all want to just talk the rest of the video? You want to do the video, don't you? Okay. Okay. It's all good. Now, what you can do is, since you don't want to talk to me, take three fingers, right? And put it on your screen and go like, aha. Got it. Made your dumb ass go to the next video, didn't I? So we want to go over here to images all the way at the top, hit adjustments. And I want you to come down to hue and saturation. All right. I want you to go ahead and turn that saturation up a little bit. Saturate that shit. Motherfucker. Hit OK. That's all I want to do. Go to adjustments. I want you to go to brightness and contrast. I want you to play with that contrast. You feel me? It's going to darken it up. But I also want you to play with that light a little bit. Turn it down a little bit. Because I like the distorted feel of it all. And you can add as many textures as you want to it. You can play with the color pattern. You can change the colors. You can change the font. The fonts I included always look great with it, but you can use lots of other fonts with this as well. And what we're looking at so far is the completed project. Now, this is the Chrome cover kit for my GFX kit that I recently dropped today. Like I said, it's on treesound.com. I have to plug that. If I don't say treesound.com at least three times in the video, um, half will fire me because it's in my contract. Uh, so I just got to make sure I say treesound.com in the video at least three times. Um, that's just something that we want to request that we do um, anytime we're selling or promoting things through treesound.com. Um, I'm also going to include this in the pack as well, which is going to be a complete breakdown and render of everything that's included. But I wanted to share it with y'all. You feel me? I make sure my squad eating. I'm not only out here for the producer community. I'm out here for the graphic design community, the pretty boy community. You feel me? Um, dudes who wear off white. That's like more like on black. You feel me? Cause I'm not balling like that. But that's pretty much it. Uh, once again, I just want to say thank you guys for the support when it comes to my graphics tutorials. And then also um, overall the support that I get from you guys. Um, I'm highly appreciative. I uh, just hit 10K on my first video for graphic design, which I don't see a lot of graphic design tutorials on YouTube, especially for producers when it comes to kids or graphics because they be sleeping on y'all. Um, but if you need any help, you had any questions, um, you can always hit me up. Follow me on Instagram at dudeclay.com. Follow me on Twitter at dudeclay.com. Follow me at walgreens at dudeclay.com. Follow me at xxvideos at Big Daddy Pimp C. Um, you feel me? Keep on spinning that cheddar. And remember, you can purchase my kit, which is the Chrome GFX kit on treesound.com. I'm out. Love y'all.